Do what they want. So do we take it off? <laughs> okay, you ready? Go for it. I feel we should do a joint reveal. Three, two, two one. one. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay. I was not expecting that. That looks nice. amazing. It's amazing artwork. It's like a really fat version of the preamp pedals. Mm. Yeah. But it's an amp. Nice, man. Oh, nice. It's got tremolo as well. Tremolo, tremolo, depth and speed and reverb. Oh, wow. Okay, so there's nothing on. It's just the guitar straight into this. That Sweet. sounds good. That's good. <laughs> as well. It does. That sounds fantastic. Nice, man. Let's see what a bit of drive sounds Yeah, like. go for it, man. So, okay, so... Kick it in. so. That's pretty monstrous. Whoa, that sounds ridiculous. What was that then? What we got? That is the DNM drive and the Euphoria stacked together. I oh, just cool. Need to turn on some delay. Between those legs and my jacket, we were just transported, I think. But <laughs> sunset strip. Nice, That's man. Huge. That sounds right. monstrous. Cool. So I don't know where the out from my board is uh, going at the minute. Right. Yeah. Oh, there we go. That's very nice. I'm trying to compute that all of that noise is kind of Coming, from something yeah. that will, um, yeah, it's so small. Fit in the back of a Ford Ka. <laughs> Ford paid me to say that. Um, <laughs> that's amazing, man. Let's get the tremolo in a minute.
That's cool. I like that. Into, uh, Tom Morello territory there. Uh, the white one should be the return. Sorry. Yeah. Let's see what the uh, the Kraken preamp is like. as metal as I do, but... <laughs> Sounds awesome. colossal, man. Come on, we allowed to know what speaker it is yet? Yeah. I think it's a good place to, to break. Awesome. Real world day one, take two. Actually, quite ridiculous, isn't it? So, how many watts is that? It's 180 watts. 180 watts, right? Yeah, okay. It's a class D power section. Okay. 180 watts. Cool. Wow. You might as well ask the cat what that is. <laughs> I don't know what um, class D means. What's yeah. class D, Mick? Uh, lots of people think it's digital, it's not digital, right, it's okay. uh, a solid state. It's the kind of power section you'll find in a lot of modern uh, small devices. Right. However, most of them are the 100 watt module. Right, it okay. It out pretty quickly. Yeah, so that's a solid state yeah. 180 power section. Watt. So that's, it's actually the 200 watt one, but it's putting out 180 watts, watts. of 4 ohms. Right. So are there any valves in this? There are. There's okay. Four. So it's the same as the other um, Victory pedal preamps, mm, yeah. albeit in duchess form, so not as gamey as the, yeah, the ones yeah. that currently exist. Yeah. And it's the same front end setup as those, Yeah. just with that 200 watt power section. Oh, right. right. Okay, cool. On the back. Nice, man. That Very is, clever. That is monstrous. I mean, it sounds, you. I would not have thought that that was a solid state. Um, no. Um, <laughs> what, um, so what speaker is that then? What do you think it is? I don't know, it's, it's shifting some air, whatever it is. Shifting some air, it's got more top end sparkle than the cream back that I'm used to. Okay. In the in the cabs for the V40 One. series. So oh, okay, far. right, yeah. So it's it's not as dark sounding. There's a, a, there's a clue in how much power the amp's putting out. Okay. So there isn't uh, there isn't. Oh yeah, a and Celestian speaker. Speak of that one handle and and watts. Oh, watch. so yeah. Ooh. it's actually a Celestian um, Neo. Oh back. right, okay, cool. So they were like- oh, 250 watts. Wow, 250 okay. watt speaker. Yeah. Flipping it. Yeah. I mean, the thing that amazes me about that is how massive it sounds in such a compact mm. thing. Yeah, I it mean, doesn't, it's, whether that'll come across on um, table, I guess, but it doesn't sound like a 112 at it all. Do, yeah, it does. It's got a lot, lot more kind of, very nice kind of rounded bottom end, you know, that it's kind of kicking out. Yeah. So um, yeah, that's fantastic. <laughs> Real world, day one, take three. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Oh, nice. you sound amazing, man. That sounds so good. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, this headroom in that for days, isn't there? Let's switch over. You were uh, the man for the game. Let's, <laughs> Let's get that um, volleyball cracked and uh, see how it sounds. <laughs> Like how I'd set up like for a, a beefy tone, but yeah, like, it'd be interesting to see what's like if we yeah kick it with a bit of game. Go for it, back. Oh. Handles it well, doesn't it? It, it does. Doesn't, yeah, like you said, it, I guess the tendency could be to kind of mush out a little bit, but that's still super still clarity clear. and still punching that. So. I think I actually prefer it set like that. It's got more of a. I don't know, there's something, some extra mojo or magic <laughs> tiled in there. That's amazing. So you were on Inus for the, for the, um, the, are we allowed to name drop you? I suppose so, yeah. yeah. So it's part of it, take, isn't it? <laughs> so take that, wouldn't it? Um, <laughs> so <laughs> Scrub that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, yeah for the Westlife tour, yeah, yeah. tour, yeah. For the Westlife tour, I was using the, the V140s, but yeah. they were going into the two notes torpedo. Oh, okay, live. cool. Uh, boxes. Yeah, and so then that was on on, on, in, on ears. in ears and going straight to the desk and all of that. So if that's kind of how you have to to run a rig, yeah. Like actually for me, like this is an amazing option because I've just had the board rewired for wet, dry, wet. Right. Yeah. <laughs> because why not? More yeah. is more. So <laughs> <laughs> so really? like to actually take three of those on the road. Mm. And have all of the three of those next to each other, you know, in a little shelf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then three torpedoes, you know, it's it's going to be this yeah. instead of the you crew know, three of them. them. Yeah, the crew, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. So, um, you know, so that's an amazing thing. And the cool thing, as well, is like it, even though it's not a valve power section, mm. I would never have known that. No, not that the sound becomes irrelevant, but it's the feel first and foremost that is what yeah. inspires you. It's such a yeah. sort of, you know, kind of. In the reactive process, you know, it's sort of that's part of the fun of it, really. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Day one, two by twelve, take one. I'm a little bit more accustomed, I guess, to hearing it with a traditional sort of speaker, um, aside from the neodymium stuff. So, yeah, we've got the normal two by twelve in now, um, just to see. <laughs> That was the King of Tone and the Grace Tone Fuzz face. <laughs> Tidy. <laughs> Still got tons of headroom. <laughs> That's loud. Thank you. 
that's more home for me. That's that kind of uh, yeah. kind of mid range yeah. focus, I guess. Um, but I spend a lot of time not allowed to use cabs. I have mm. to do a direct thing. So, yeah. um, so is there something we can do about that? Real world day two cabinet IR. And as if by magic, um, here, here we, we are. are. In, yes. <laughs> I guess, you know, a kind of typical sort of home slash studio recording setup. It looks like it have a lot of boxes, but not that dissimilar from what I guess we're kind of used to using at home. Obviously got uh, a laptop to actually record the stuff. We've got the Duchess before running into a cab sim and obviously the Apollo Twin as the interface. Um, so it may look complicated, but it's not actually. Also actually having it run into a cab just off uh, camera for a little bit of kind of volume in the room. Um, but needless to say, that's not essential. So uh, it's yeah. just however you want to use it really. Let's hear some sounds. Maybe try let's see what's like a bit juicier because sometimes mm. these kind of setups can get a bit fizzy, can't they? So, yeah, yeah. So awesome. Right, that sounds very reasonable to me. <laughs> so check us that uh, check us the leader there. It's awesome. So um, yeah, that is more game than I would know what to uh, what to do with. <laughs> Turn out a very va bad Van Halen impression. So uh, leaving mix side on. Tremolo on. Oh yeah, of course, yeah. As I said, it's just that sort of ease and portability of, um, I guess, especially for you, you were saying earlier about obviously the amount of, mm. kind of touring you do, just having that throw in your hand luggage or throw in your kind of backpack and be able to just set yourself up in your hotel room. So Yeah, which would be super cool because I, I used the uh, Two Notes Torpedo Live as mm. like the, the bridge between the, the amp and the, the computer. Yeah, and the yeah, great yeah. thing about that is it takes the load from the valve head, so your oh, valve cool. yeah, doesn't yeah, yeah. blow up. Yeah. Of course, you don't need um, you don't need the load. So the cool thing, yeah, absolutely, for me is with using that is I could use an even smaller thing like we've got here, mm, an it's even smaller term. box, yeah, technical term, <laughs> yeah, to go to go straight in, mm. um, which is which is super super cool. But like I live in a flat in London, mm -hmm. so I can't yeah. have my amps on ever. So I, yeah. I love being able to run stuff through my studio monitors yeah. and being able to do that. But if space is you know, an issue mm, yeah, <laughs> for absolutely, you as yeah. well, um, then this is going to be perfect because you're getting all of that lovely victory goodness, mm. um, but just in a in a smaller like a pack package. Setting. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. So Awesome. Yeah, man. Nicely Super done. cool. So Mick, why are there no IRs built in to the unit? Uh, I'll come into shot, excuse me. Um, there are no IRs because um, that's a technology that is developing all the time. Mm. Plus, everyone seems to love their own IRs. So yeah, whatever yeah, that's true. bit of kit you're talking about, people tend to prefer whether you use Torpedo like mm. you use or whether you use an external um, thing like the Cab Zeus there, whether you, whatever it is you well, use, yeah. that whole digital processing technology thing is, 
Yeah. It's so constantly. It's relatively new as well, isn't it? So it's I guess this, vertical. this sort of future proofs that to a certain extent in that, mm. you know, it, irrespective. It keeps it simple, yeah. yeah. The guys just explained that we're hearing it through a cabinet to hear it back. Mm. Lots of people don't have that luxury, especially if you're playing in your flat, like you were mm. saying, Phil. So you can simply just, off you go. Unplug the speaker, right? Yep. Which you'd mm. never do with a valve amp because yeah, but you can well. run it without a load. And then we also have a full range flat response wedge here, which you can kind of take to mean your studio monitors. Okay, yeah. And we can hear it back through that, so. You do not have to have a speaker yeah. connected. Yeah. Or headphones so, or you know whatever. Yeah, headphones. I actually, I personally prefer headphones yeah, to mm, studio yeah. monitors, but. Mm. Um, so yeah, that's why there are no IRs, um, because that technology is racing so fast. Next year's IR provider is going to be mm. better than this year. Yeah. Plus, mm. so many people do it in software anyway. You don't even yeah. need a hardware device. Mm. So, Absolutely. Thank you. 